Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. I have got the Sylvanian families or the Calico Critters, the toy shop. Look at them. Look at all the little toys and little critters that it doesn't come with any critters, but it comes with, look at that, over 40 pieces and lots and lots of toys and it's going to be super fun. So let's get it open and find out what's inside and what we can do with it. So here we go, I have the actual shell part of it open, the, the store part, the shop part, and these are the shelves for the cuddly toys apparently. And here's the outside, oh look, the beautiful little sign with, with the details. And can you see those little toy pictures on the bottom with a car and a drum and a house? There, it's really cute. The detail on this is very pretty. There's a little bow on the, over the window there. And we have got a little ramp that you can put on the front to help the critters get into the actual shop. But let's open all the pieces that come with it. So this strange green piece is a slippery slide for the babies to go down. It looks pretty plain at the moment, but we are going to make it gorgeous in a minute. And a bendy pink bit. <laughs> oh, I think we have to do some more things with this as well. What else have we got? So we have got a little archway here, a wooden archway with two peg legs and this yellow piece is a little wooden step that we put it into. So this is all part of the play area which I'll set up for you soon but we've got more pieces to get open. Look, look at them all! <laughs> so much adorable cuteness in one teeny weeny little tiny weeny pack and here is a little doll's pram, a baby doll's pram. <laughs> Whee! And what else? Look at this. This is pretty darn cute. A little Sylvanian family's a doll's house. A doll's house of a doll's house. That's a mini replica. And a wicker basket. So we can put some toys in there, I suppose. We'll find out in a minute. And this looks like it might be a blackboard. It's going to need a sticker soon. So we'll put that over there till we get the stickers open. And a play table recognize these we could put trains on them I wonder what comes in the set that we can put on it oh look a little actually it's pink a little ready pink car brum, 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 brum. We can drive that across there the babies can drive that across there and a teddy a teeny tiny teddy with a pink bow and a little cute tail <laughs> that is a cute little teddy what else what else oh a little rabbit a, a little rabbit baby's rattle a slippery little rabbit baby straddle. <laughs> That's very cute. We'll pop it over here as well. And oh my goodness, a toy elephant with a little teeny tiny trunk. They're really cute. Oh, and a little tugboat in pastels, in pastel pink and pastel blue. Okay, there is the cuteness is killing me here. They're just gorgeous. Oh, look, a little tambour, a little drum. And I think in here there is also a mallet for it. Doing, 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 which makes actually no noise. I'm just making that noise. And I have no idea what this is. It's a little tiny thing with pink thing with ears. And there's a green one. They look like maybe counters or game counters for a board game. I suppose it will all become clear soon. And a little car with an O cutout bit for babies to push along. Oh my goodness. And some four cubes with holes in them. No idea what we do with them. I'm sure we'll figure it out as we go along. Let's put them in the wicker basket. And a teapot! Look, a teapot with a with, with a matching cup to pour the tea into. With a little green handle, look. Oh my goodness, there's two cups here. Where's the other one? For a tea party, for a tea set for the babies. And a little another slippery pot <laughs> with red handles. And a saucepan for pretend cooking play. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. And what is this? Oh, some blue and pink chalk. So we're definitely going to need a picture on that chalkboard. Right, how do we go? We've got all the little pieces out, so now it's time to make some things. We've got two sheets of building things and, oh look, and a sheet of stickers. And there's the sign. We'll put a sticker on that in a minute. Right, the cardboard sheet. So we have got all these little things made out of card, printed out of card. So this says message and this one says idea with a teddy bear on it. These are gift cards for birthday presents or all sorts of things. 
whatever you choose. And these are little uh, placemats to go, oh, I know what they are, look at that. That's got cooking, that's really cute. These go in here, so you can change the play table to decide what you're going to play on it. So you could play cooking and cutting with the other side. Look, there's a pretend knife and, and a carrot on there. Or you could put on the tea party set with donuts and biscuits and you could set your, your tea set up. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Yeah, that is just gorgeous. Oops, all right, let's put that over there and see what else is in this cardboard bit. So it looks like we've also got, there are two more of these play table setups. And this one looks like a jigsaw puzzly thingy. And this one is a little road with grass all over it. We could get the car. Where's the car? And we could drive it along the roads. Brum, 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 brum. <laughs> or we could do something else with it, which I'll show you in a minute. Let's get some more of these out. So another card that says present, so there'll be no confusing there. And this one says for you. And I think we probably have to bend it over like a card. There's no crease in it, but I think that's what we have to do. Right, a big present box, building time. I like the fact that this is made out of nice, durable, strong cardboard because it will hold together. Oh look, there's a slit in there, that's cute. It'll hold together nicely and we can put presents in it when we buy them for the babies. All the little tabs go around here and hold on, let's bring it back down where we can see it and the tab will go when I get all this in the right place. The tab will click in. Come on, you all need to fit in there. The tab will click in here to hold it all together as a present box. That's pretty with a big pink ribbon with that slit in there where you can put the card for the recipient. So you can write on it the name of the person that you're giving it to or the critter that's going to. So I can say, dear cute little bunny, here is your present. Happy birthday. That's really cute. All right, what is this box? Uh, it says mini piano. I didn't see a mini piano, did you? So it's just the box. There we go. That's, that's, that's lovely, but I would have liked a mini piano. Well, you can't have everything now. We are on the paper builds here. So this is a nice flimsy sheet of paper, which is okay for the books because we're putting a couple of books together and we need to figure out, we need to do an accordion fold on them to make all the pages go in the right direction. And I don't really have very much spatial awareness, so I'll have a go at this, but I won't get it right the first time, I can guarantee. So bend, bend, bend. And that doesn't quite work, so I'm going to rebend it. Bend, bend, bend the other way. And slide the little tab in over here. No, I can't do that. Hold on. That's a really flimsy tab. Let me try. There we go. Okay, so now our book is all in the right direction. It says the house in the woods. And yep, there's some teeny tiny writing there, which I can't read without my binoculars. But I'm sure the Sylvanian family's critters will be able to read it perfectly. And there's a second book. This one's an alphabet book. I'm gonna speed this up because you've already seen me build one book. I'll get this one wrong too, I'm sure. Probably have to rebend it. Yep, let's go back again and rebend it. There, there we go. And put that flimsy little tab in again. There, so now you have got alphabet, A, B, C's, A, B, C, D, D for drum, E for egg, F for flower, and it only goes up to H. <laughs> so it's an abbreviated alphabet book. You only learn the first third of the alphabet. Now we have got a box to build for blocks out of paper. Why? Why did they make this out of paper? This is going to last exactly 0.3 of a second, if, if even that long. It doesn't even go in together. There. All right. That's very flimsily held together. Hmm. Okay. So there's a little paper blocks box there and a little paper duck pull toy box as well. Now that's cute, even though there is no duck pull toy in here. Once again, this is not going to last. I don't know why they didn't make these boxes out of cardboard as well. Why? Okay, so we've got the little duck pull toy. That's very cute. And another paper box, a one that you can choose to be whatever you like, and it's a pink one with a bow on it. This might be a gift box as well. 
Once again, made out of paper, not gonna last. But it is pretty, very pretty. Okay, well, that's everything built. Now we need to put this enormous sheet of stickers on everything. So this will be fun. First up we need the toy shop sign. Here we go. So the toy shop toys and gifts. Got that on straight the first time. This must be a good day and it goes up on the top in the slot. And you can also turn it around so it can face the outside of the shop so that the customers can see it coming in the front. And that looks brilliant with those little curtains on the front. Right, what next? Okay, the blackboard, or in this case, the green board. Isn't it funny that blackboards look green? They're very dark green, they're not black at all. And it's already got a gorgeous picture of a, of a, a, a rainbow and a house and the pink and the blue chalk go perfectly on the front of that. How about some of the, ah, uh, this is gonna be tricky. So this is what those four little blocks are for. We need to put the patterning on them with these stickers. So let me make sure I get these on straight or they're gonna look dodgy. So, okay, that's where there. And fold these around first and there's these little, little tabs to hold them in. Nice design, I like that over the top and there's these tabs except that star needs to go under the blue bit ah all right so I need to undo all those little tabs and redo it let's speed this up and there we go carefully put them all over again so put it all the way around first and then do all the little tabs and then put on the outside pieces that cover over the little tabs and that's really cute so there's one we've got four of them to do so here's the second one so let's see if I can get this one on right. The first time, now that I've had a go at the first one. See if I learned anything from experience. <laughs> okay, so fold it all around, all the way around, put that little star underneath, and then we can fold all the tabs in and put those on the outside. Perfect, I did learn, hooray for me. So now we've got two cute little, cute little uh, blocks which make the bottom half of the car when we turn it around the right way. Two more, let's speed these up because you've already seen them. No, you've already seen, seen the other two. You know how it's done now. And number four, if only I could do it this fast in real life. There, okay, now we've got some more uh, stickers to put on and these go around the play table. They're very pretty, pretty little uh, accents around the bottom of the table. On all four sides, there's two sides third one and one more. there now the play table is decorated on the sides as well how about some signs to go on the outside so we'll move all these pieces out of the way and we'll put the sign on the outside that gives the customer some information about what to find inside. It says, especially for you, lots of toy pictures. There's no mistaking what you're gonna find in here. And on the front, on the signboard, it says, welcome to Toy Shop. Ta-da! That looks really cute. <laughs> very, very cute. Back inside, it's time to put some little uh, curtain overlays along the top some valances and that's pretty and a matching one for the other window with little scalloped bottoms very nice right lots of decoration to do inside some ribbons up on one corner try and get them on straight and one for the other corner as well tell you that this slippery slide was a bit dull and boring so we are going to decorate it with these flower stickers 
and the children, the baby critters, are not going to be able to resist playing on it now. Not that they probably would have been able to resist before, but now it's very cute and I cannot get this. There we go. There. <laughs> the sticker back was stuck on it. There. There's two and one more for the step. There. Very cute slippery slide. Let's keep decorating, decorating the shell the shell of the of, of the store here so we have a cuckoo clock sticker and under that is going to go a sign that tells the babies and the parents that this is the play corner so it's okay for the babies to play with the toys in the play corner what an awesome toy shop and some decorative stars it's starting to look really colorful and over here maybe a sun and another sign it says play corner with a rainbow and some hot air balloons there are so many stickers here you can choose where you want to put them yourself so I'm gonna put some hot air balloons down here and some some stars to go under them there we go one two and one more there that side looks really cute. So what about the other side? The cuddly toy side, the shop side. So some balloons with a bow and a matching one for the other side. And maybe, just maybe, some cute little birdies to go in the middle. One, two, and one more. Three, that's good, I like that. I think that looks really <laughs> really gorgeous. I would love to walk into that toy shop. We've got a few more stickers, so we might decorate this bench here. We'll put some flowers on it. Pink one and good. So let's set up our toy shop. Some cuddly toys on the top. There aren't really many cuddly toys and they're not, not really that cuddly, but that's okay. Some books for the second shelf in the wicker basket. blocks box and the tea party set we'll set it up over here with the teacups this is such a tempting little shop to come into I think I would want to buy everything and on the bottom shelf the present box so that we can see it ready to be bought and the mini piano there and there was a piece of chalk that got away and in front of that the play table and we might set it up with oh okay you ready for this this is really cute. We'll put the house here. And this is what the little figures are. They're the little dolls to go in the doll's house. <laughs> and they can play there. That's really very cute. All right, let's set up the play corner. So the slippery slide goes over here. And the there's a little, the little bendy bench does not go on there. It goes there. There's little uh, indentations in the floor to show you where all these bits go in. It is the play corner and there's the entrance there. And the little part that looks like a house, so you could use that as a shop, a shop front or whatever if you're playing. It's very cute. And the blackboard goes there. And we'll put some toys in here. We'll put the pool toy box over there, simply because I can't think of anywhere else to put it. Put the chalk on the blackboard. Slippery little chalk. Pink chalk on the blackboard. And we'll set up some toys for the babies to play with when they come in to shop. And of course their parents will want to want to buy all of the toys. So here's a pram and we got nothing to put in it. How about this there we put on the shelf? It's a bit low down there. There we go. Now he's poking his head out. And we'll set the blocks up over here. There we go, the puzzle blocks. And the tugboat here. And the drum here with its mallet. And car and the red car can go down there this is starting to look really cute and maybe the saucepan and the pot can go over here for some cooking play and where are we gonna put the baby's rattle maybe over here there well it's all set up for play look at it it is just the cutest little toy store you've ever seen it's very tempting are you gonna to want to buy everything I think I would. Look at that teddy bear in the pram and the little 
drama, the little tugboat, and the blocks. Oh, goodness. And that doll's house. They're just so cute. All right. Well, I tell you what. In the next video, we will open some babies to come shopping in here. So don't forget to subscribe and click like and leave me a comment. And make sure you check in regularly because there are more videos coming very, very soon.